What's up everybody, it's Magic with the Racing News here to watch the El Camino Real Derby from Golden Gate Fields Race 7 on Saturday, February 10th. No longer a Kentucky Derby prep race and it's sad because this is probably the last running of the El Camino Real Derby, at least to Golden Gate Fields, which is scheduled to close later this year. This is still a Preakness automatic qualifier and we have seen horses exit this and do well on the Triple Crown Trail before, including Rombauer who won this race and went on to win the Preakness Stakes for trainer Michael McCarthy who trains the six horse endlessly, who is your three to five favorite right here. They're all in the gate. El Camino Real Derby. They're off. And uh, a nifty beginning there for a couple horses. You see the three and the seven both have early speed, as does the one come out fighting. He did exactly that. Arctic Breeze also part of the pace factor. And they're going to make Tapolo have to go four wide into this first turn. And that's going a mile and an eighth with a horse out of Tapature, who I think is probably better at a mile. That's not what you want to see necessarily. See if Ramon tries to tuck him in a little bit. But Wild Jewels and a Come Out Fighting are going to be up on the front end fighting for that lead. Tapolo now settles off a little bit in third. You're going to be able to save a little bit more ground. Endlessly is back at the pack with a guy named Joe. They're going to be doing their best running late. Uh, the two Grogu wins the award for best name, but uh, is still a maiden in five starts with his best finish second uh, in back-to-back -back maiden mile races here at Golden Gate Fields on the synthetic. 23 flat, that's pretty quick for them going a mile and an eighth. You've got a lot of horses in here that are not going to want a mile and an eighth almost ever in their career. <laughs> uh, you see Tapolo now ranging up. And Wild Jules went wacky and, and went three wide there. He's climbing on the backside and, and, and really not a good look. See if Alvarado can get him under control. Now Tapolo just split between them and took the lead. Endlessly, Numbi Reesplay are going to need to hit the gas if they want to catch him because he's still looking good through 47-3. and three. Ramon tapped the brakes to catch a breather there, and everybody caught right back up to him. He's going to have to go hard because Old Triangle, the 5-4, is presenting a challenge here comes Endlessly to see if he can make a three-wide bid off the turn to go at them. But Tamalo still has the, I'm sorry, Tapolo still has the lead here. He's looking strong. This last furlong is where it's going to get iffy for him. There it is. Endlessly is going to, well, he's got him. Endlessly's got him. I, I called my shot a little too early there. Endlessly gets the job done in the El Camino Real Derby. He's going to win by about a length and a quarter there. Guy named Joe came running for third. Tapolo got second. 150 and three. Uh, and boy, Wild Jewels last across. He was all kinds of not great there. Uh, in the second half of that race, 150 and three, that's better than like half the races we saw last weekend in Kentucky Derby prep races, right? The Withers, the Holy Bull, uh, but a good effort here on the synthetic. Uh, good to see Endlessly make up the ground. He really go after the horses. He's by Oscar performance. So I, I thought the mile and eighth was going to be right uh, well within his grasp there against these horses. Hats off to Tapolo. He didn't get the lead. He had a four wide trip early and then split horses, which is not something a lot of horses like to do. Took the lead, settled a little bit in the, the turn. Ramon tried saving every bit of energy he could and it just wasn't enough to get the job done here. Uh, but endlessly wins the El Camino Real Derby at Golden Gate Fields. Wins a berth into the Preakness Stakes. Now, this was his first race as a three-year-old. We haven't seen him since the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf in November. So, a three-month layoff. He shows up here. The level of competition compared to what he had been facing is not anything like, you know, this was a lower level than at least his last three races, right? The, they were all graded stakes. However, first race as a three-year-old. You would expect this horse to improve next time out. It's a matter of where they decide to go with him next time out. Does McCarthy want to try the dirt before the Preakness? Does he prep him on the turf? Uh, the cinema stakes at San Anita Park. I know that's something that three-year-olds uh, going a long distance on turf is a race he could target. We'll find out. But that is your winner of the El Camino Real Derby for, unfortunately, probably the final time at Golden Gate Fields, but hats off to everybody. Congrats to Michael McCarthy, Umbi Reese-Bly, and Ammerman Racing, the homebred by Oscar Performance, and Oscar, and Oscar Performance also raced for Ammerman Racing. Let me know what you thought about this race down below in the comments section. Love to hear your thoughts. The Preakness looks like it's going to be Bob Baffert's to win. So they may want to go there with him. They may not want to go there with him. <laughs> we'll find out. we still got a long ways to go. Until that point, make sure you're following us over at RacingDudes.com and here on YouTube.com slash Racing Dudes. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit like on the video. We're going to have tons of coverage leading up to the Derby, the Preakness Stakes, the Belmont Stakes, all right here on the channel. And make sure you get those free picks for every race, every day, every track at RacingDudes.com. Until next time, I'm Magic. Good luck.